everyone happy monday today's video is going to be a what i realistically read during a week <laughs> um usually i weekly vlog but instead of doing that this week i thought i would just focus on bookish things mainly pertaining to how much i read so just to give like some background of like the parameters i'm working with is I do work 20 hours a week and I'm also currently writing my thesis that's due in two weeks from today, one week from when you're seeing that, this, which is just like, I have to breathe. Anyway, and then I also am a master's student, which is why I'm writing my thesis, but that means I have coursework and projects and things like that. So I do have what I think is a pretty full um, week. I would say I probably am doing 40 to 50 hours of work with all of that combined and I also really enjoy working out so I'm kind of factoring that in too but that's the parameters that's the understanding of my week in the life which this week is a little bit different because I actually have the day off since it's veterans day which is pretty exciting and so um that's like usually honestly I probably wouldn't read on Mondays at all because Mondays are my busiest day whereas today I think I'm gonna have like an hour hour and a half of time to read which I'm pretty excited so I do think I'm going to be tracking this in the sense of book pages or audiobook hours and also like hours so it'll be pages and hours it's kind of like how we're organizing this maybe chapters if we get any books done so yeah I'm pretty excited I wanted to start the blog off it is currently 11 a.m I think Yes, it's 11 exactly. I've had a pretty productive morning. I went to yoga this morning at 6, and then I went to the gym after yoga to walk on the Stairmaster for 30 minutes, and then I ran to Dylan's to grab some groceries, which literally the groceries I got were flowers and then bagels. So that's what I got. And then after that, I came back and I did a full body shower, which I'm currently waiting on my hair to dry so I can curl it. Uh, because I still have class today at 3, but I'm going to be at campus around 2, probably. Or my class is at 3.30. I'm going to get to campus at 2 because I present today. And so factoring that in, whatever. But anyway, this morning I did an hour of my thesis after getting out of the shower. And then I also worked on my presentation a little bit for like 30 minutes. And then um, I finished editing the YouTube video that went out today. So yeah, I feel like I've had a pretty productive morning. But now I'm like, okay, I, it's 11. I have like two and a half hours left before I need to leave my house. What I want to do in that time is I want to curl my hair and like get ready for class. And then also I want to eat lunch. So pretty chill things that I have to get done. But I'm like, the day has already felt like it's going by so fast. So I know the next two and a half hours are going to go really, really quickly, which I'm really sad about. But you know, have to do it. I'm just thinking I would be at work right now. So this is nice that I've been like having a productive day, but like at home, you know? Anyway, I am talking so much. I just wanted to start this now because I'm finally going to start reading. And I'm actually going to listen to an audiobook on Libby. I downloaded, it's called Lights Out. I started it last week. I think, let's see how, this is what it looks like. I'm 57 the way... 57% the way through and I started reading this because which guys I recommend this book so much but you have to listen to the audiobook like it is so funny and so unlike anything I would read but I cannot stop reading it I've been telling Anna all about it because I'm just like what anyway um it I started reading this because at first I saw a TikTok and I don't know the creator's name she just came up on my for you page but she was telling her husband or her partner about this story and her laugh was just so funny and like her explaining it was hilarious and then I watched Larry Reed's wrap up I think from this past month where she read her mom's TBR and I'm pretty sure this book was on there or it, it was mentioned in another video and I was like okay I keep on hearing things about this book and then finally what finally got me to download it and listen to it was Heather uh Heather McLary Heather Reads he Heather Larry I don't know you guys I've mentioned her a lot but she recommended this on her Instagram story and I was like okay that is three times this book has been mentioned and I think it was mentioned I think I started audio because Heather recommended that and so I was finally like okay I have to listen I have to do it 
And so I'm very, very excited about this. I, yeah, I just, uh, 57% the right way through and I'm just gonna go start listening to this so I am gonna maybe I'll take a screenshot of this to like help us track but yeah that's a really really long intro thank you guys for putting up with it let's go ahead and get reading and I hated the idea that I caused her similar distress what had I thought to myself less than two weeks ago that I would never regret what I'd done I want to go back in time and kick the shit out of my past self for it now this kind of violation was unforgivable and I couldn't believe Allie had given me a chance instead of shooting me in the face like I deserved if I had to spend the rest of our time together making it up to her, I would, happily. Hey guys, it is about 1. I am going to leave for class, so I thought I would update. I'm going to listen to it like while I'm getting my water bottle and some snacks and then while I'm driving. But I'm at 82% right now. I'll probably update tomorrow just because that will have like the final like stats and whatnot. Um, but it's, I'm almost done. I have three more chapters and then the epilogue. So I have four more chapters essentially. But I'm really enjoying it. It's just like silly and fun. Definitely like a good like thriller a little bit. Not too much. It's like comedy. It's Butcher and Blackbird X. What else is it? I don't want to say Haunting Adeline because that's a bit intense. But it's pretty funny. I like it. So I'm going to go. But I just want to say hey. Update you guys. I'll update tomorrow with like the actual stats. But yeah. I'm excited. So far, so good. I feel like the time went by so fast, so, which I'm a little bit sad about. But wish me luck on my presentation, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I feel like all my things look crooked back there. Some of them are crooked, but not all of them. And I think it's just the angle that my camera's at right now. But anyway, I told you guys, I promised you I would update you in the morning about my stats. So I ended up finishing Lights Out yesterday. And so yesterday I was at 57% the way through, got to 100, 5 hours, 53 minutes, and 17 seconds left. So yesterday I read 5 hours, 53 minutes, and 17 seconds, which is 10 chapters and then an epilogue. I don't know the page number. I don't know the page number just because it's an audiobook. So sorry about that, but I was really, really happy to have finished that book. It was actually so good. I rated it four stars. It was so funny. I would recommend you have to view it kind of like as a comedy though. That'd be my number one tip going into it. But yeah, it's so funny. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have work today. I'm in the office for nine hours and then I'm going to go to the gym and hang out with friends. So today I might not read much of anything really to see um I, d I am bringing my book to work for like to read during my lunch break bringing my book to read during lunch break if i am able usually i watch a youtube video so we'll see if i do that um but i did bring that and i have some audiobooks that i can definitely listen to while i'm working so we'll see if i can maybe do that but before i go before i need to get ready i have to leave in eight minutes and or seven minutes and I have not packed my lunch or ate breakfast so we're gonna be quick about this I have a little book haul really fast um I have four books that I bought which I have been trying to be good about not buying books which I do think I've been really like I think I've been really good at it but these books um I wanted to get either I'll just explain. So the first book I got is called The Weary World Rejoices Daily Devotions for Advent. So me and my C group are doing, the girls in my C group are doing a little Advent. And this is a book that we chose to do. I don't really know what it's about, but it's an Advent. So this is for Christmas. I'll do this in uh, the month of December. And I'm assuming we'll just talk about it every day. But it looks pretty short, honestly, which I think, I think will be nice. I'm excited. I usually do the She Reads, um, She Reads, I think that's what it's called, Advents, so this will be really fun to try something new. I don't think I did an Advent last year, if I'm remembering correctly, but anyway, then the other ones is, I wanted to buy these books from The Raven, but they didn't have them in stock, and I think the book that I'm bringing today is the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, so if you guys can guess the other books that I got... They have to do with the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, and that is the second book, which is called The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. This is about Hazel and then 
Noah, which I actually, in the first book, you kind of see a glimpse of them kind of flirting. Also, the cover is so pretty because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of metallic on the leaves. It's so pretty. I wonder if the, I wonder if the Pumpkin Spice Cafe has that. I actually have it in my bag right next to me, so I'll pull it out. It doesn't. Oh, these books are so cute. So anyway, I'm about halfway through this, so I could definitely get a good chunk done today. Um... So yeah, I got this one and then I got the third book, which I'm pretty sure this is the most recent book that's out. And it's about Kira Bennett, which I don't, I don't think I recognize either of those names. It looks like Kira is, looks like they're both kind of newcomers. So I guess that, that makes a little bit more sense. But I'm really excited about these. I think they're so cute. They're so fun. Very holiday-esque. And I will be reading the rest of this, <laughs> the series. Um, but the reason I got the, my last book here is because I could do um, $30 total and then get free shipping, like expedited shipping or whatever. And I've actually really wanted this book and it's called The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I read my first Mariana Zapata book a few weeks ago and that was All Roads Lead Here. And it was a five stars. It was amazing. And so I wanted to get this one because I've heard really good things about it. And also I'm pretty sure it's the only other redesigned cover. And I almost have a feeling I'm probably going to wait to get her books until they're redesigned just because I really like the art style and I want them all to match. But I thought this was so cute. It's a bit a little bit, but I don't, I think this is about, okay, from memory, she's his assistant and I think he's a football player. And then she quits because it's like not a good work environment and he begs for her to come back. I think that's a premise. I don't know. Her name's Vanessa and his name is Aiden, I believe. So I'm excited about this. I have a really fun and like cozy little book haul here. So thanks for listening to me ramble. But anyway, I'm gonna go to work. Again, probably not gonna update that much today. So I apologize for that. But I just, you know, I have work. Probably won't chat all that much, but maybe. I'll bring my camera just in case. But yeah, okay. Have a happy Tuesday. I have three minutes now to go get a breakfast and make my lunch. So chat soon. I did not end up vlogging today like I thought maybe I would, but work was pretty busy. I am actually very surprised of how much I was able to read. I listened to um, an audiobook while I was working, and I could only do this like when I was doing like metadata or like creating lists or doing some like social media like <laughs> research, I guess. That's the only way I can think of how to describe some of the things that I do. But anyway fast I think I'm gonna probably be done with reading for the rest of the night because Major and Ashley are gonna be here soon I just got home went to the gym and now I'm all showered but I did want to talk about what I read so the book that I'm reading is Tom Lake by Ann Patchett I think is how you say it. I'm listening to it it's Meryl Streep she's phenomenal I started this morning um, on chapter 7 about 26% the way through with 8 hours 23 minutes left and then right now I'm 50% the way through and I have 5 hours 39 minutes left and I'm on chapter 12. So I read like four chapters I think? Yeah. I read four chapters which I'm very happy about um, and I just love it so much. I have been buddy reading this with my friend Sina who's currently living in California. Um, I don't know if Sina watches this. I know she was in a regular like week in the life vlog a little bit ago but I love her so much. We've done a few buddy reads together. This one has been it's been so long. I think we've been reading it since August or something like that and we've both been like struggling to read it but finally today the chapter that I read, maybe, I think it was chapter 8 or chapter 9, maybe. I think it was chapter 8. It got me hooked. And now I'm like, I want to keep on reading it. So I'm very glad about that because my goal for the end of this year, book-wise, is to finish all my currently reading. And I'm reading like 9 books right now, so it's not good. But I guess this week has been a pretty heavy audiobook week. That's totally not normal, but I'm going to take what I can get. So anyway... They're probably going to be here soon, so I'm going to go, but I just want to say hey, welcome, or not welcome, good night, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and yeah, that's, that's it, that's, that's, uh, that's life, so, anyway, bye. Happy Thursday, oh my gosh, I, this week is going by so fast, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, but I did read, and I just wanted 
to catch you guys up on that. I think I just read on my Kindle. I started a new book that is on my November TBR and it is called Hex by Emily McIntyre. I read the prologue through chapter seven. Um, so I don't really know, I don't know how many hours that is or pages because it's on my Kindle, but I read eight chapters yesterday or yeah, eight chapters if I'm including the prologue. And then this morning I babysat, it's actually 8.37, so I have to leave for work um, in eight minutes. But um, this morning I babysat from 5.45 to eight and while the kids were asleep until like 6.45ish, um, from like 5.45 to 6.45 I was able to read and I read five chapters. So that's kind of the tally so far. I am really having to work on my thesis. So I'm like, this is probably not the best time to be filming on what I read in a week but honestly maybe it is because this is real life I guess but I'm actually I'm happy with how much I've read I finished a book and wait did I finish a book now I'm getting confused yes I finished lights out oh my gosh that was still this week wow this week is going by slow but also really really fast um I'm hopeful that I could finish this book by the end of Sunday because I I'm 28% of the way through and I've probably spent like maybe two, two and a half hours reading it. And so I feel like that's a pretty good amount of time. It says I have four and a half hours left to read it based off of my um, reading time and everything. But, ah. but anyway, I'm pretty happy with this. It's interesting. This is, I think the sixth book and I think it's called The Never After. Um, series which is basically where the villains get a happily ever after and so this one is kind of like an aerial themed she says they're not retellings but i would consider them retellings especially as an adaptation theorist and yes i'm calling myself that because that is what i'm writing my thesis on um and so i would say these are still adaptations even though even though she claims them not to be they're absolutely adaptations i mean 100 100%. Um, I do, I'm having a hard time learning how to pronounce the main character's name. It's Vanessa, but I think it's pronounced Vanessa. But that sounds, that sounds like a lot. Oh, her TikTok's actually really sweet. Anyway. That's what I'm currently reading. It's the last book um, and I'm excited to finish the series. I only own the first book and I think eventually I'd like to own all six books because they're actually really fun covers. And since I own the first book, I kind of do want to own the entire collection if I'm being honest. I'm trying to think of which one's my favorite. I have four minutes, so I'm gonna talk about this because we, we love content. Also, today is Red Cup Day. I did get Starbucks while I was babysitting because I was like, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get this. Which actually I woke up before 5 a.m. for some reason. I woke up at 2, and I think from the hours of 2 until like 5 when my alarm went off, I was like half awake, half asleep. Because I didn't feel like I actually rested. Oh yeah, let me go over this. So Hooked is a retelling of um Peter Pan, I guess, Captain Hook, you know. Scarred, I thought it was Lion King, but I think it's actually something else. It's, okay, so it is the Lion King, but it's also Hamlet, because Hamlet is the actual inspiration for the Lion King. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, anyway, I think I rated that, that one definitely wasn't my favorite. Twisted was good, and I think, is this the one about Jasmine? Yeah, it's a retelling of uh, Aladdin. This one I actually really liked. I think so far my ranking would probably go um, Twisted, Hooked, and then Scarred. Let's keep on going. Wretched, is this The Wizard of the Oz? I did not like this one. I think I liked it more than Scarred though. And then Crossed I think is my favorite. So it, my order is Crossed, Twisted, Hooked, Wretched, Scarred. And then I guess we'll see how Hex works, but I think I'm gonna like it. I don't know, it's hard to remember all the other ones, but 
they're definitely dark and they're like really <laughs> really interesting but i enjoy reading them and i'm like i can't stop so i'm gonna read read it but anyway um I know in this video I will be reading Beloved by Toni Morrison because I have to read that by Monday and so that's going to be my goal this week but my thesis like full draft is due Friday to my thesis advisor so she can line at it for me and then next week I'm just going to be editing the entire time that way I can turn it in Monday the 25th so we're not going to be reading that till this weekend but anyway just want to say hey update you guys I will probably I don't know if I'll update you later today or if I'll update you tomorrow, but I love my little Kindle case and it got me. It's so cute. Anyway, have a happy Thursday or whenever you're watching this and I'm going to get to work. So bye. Happy reading. Okay, guys, if you hear Anna and Anna, they're watching Survivor right now, but hello, it's Wednesday night. I think I talked this morning. And I just wanted to update because I don't think I'm going to read anymore today unless I read at the very, very end, like before I go to bed, which I don't think I'm going to because I'm going to work on my thesis until I need to go to bed, which honestly makes a lot of sense. My thesis, I think I already said this, I can't remember, but my draft of my thesis is due tomorrow night and... It just has some work to do. Major and Ashley so kindly line edited, edit, line edit, line edited for me, which I am like literally so grateful for them. If they're watching this, thank you guys so much. You will be getting a gift from me for helping me out. But, oh, got lotion in my mouth. Anyway, yeah, it is almost 7.30 and I am just planning on doing that. Um, I have, I have like three and a quarter sections to get through, which I can definitely do because right now, if I get that quarter of a section done, then I'm four out of seven sections, which is more than half. So I think that'll motivate me if I don't get, I want to get the Pride and Prejudice and New Moon section done tonight. That's the goal. Or maybe... Pride and Prejudice and Breaking Dawn section. We'll figure it out. But anyway, it just got quiet downstairs, so I know they can hear me. Thanks for watching. No, the video's not done yet. I don't know why I said that. I'll talk to you guys in the morning or whenever I have an update. The next two days are definitely, or at least tomorrow's going to be heavy on thesis because it's due <laughs> tomorrow night. So I'll update when I can. Um, that lotion smells really good. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I need to find my aqua for, and yeah, bye. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Wow, I usually am really good at remembering what days it is, but for some reason this week has been difficult. I have a weird angle, but it is almost 7.30 and I'm about to leave for yoga and the gym, but I did get a package actually like at 9 30 right before i went to bed last night because i ordered more books which i've been really good about not buying books um but i guess this week i just kind of i don't know what i was doing anyway yeah i want to open this because i'm very excited i bought an entire series planning on doing some sort of video i think but put your guys's guesses on what i bought <laughs> down below oh okay i bought the magnolia parks series i've read the first three books of this but i honestly think i just need to reread it because i just have not i've not been staying on top of it i am pretty sad that i don't have the indie covers because i thought they were just so gorgeous but i just didn't buy them soon enough which is kind of my fault but what's interesting is that all of these are like glossy covers but then the newest one is like a matte cover. But as long as they're in the same size, I guess I don't really care. But let's go through these really quickly. So the first book is Magnolia Parks. And it looks really cute. I actually don't mind these covers. They're not my favorite, but I don't mind them. And then after that, you have Daisy Hates. 
Great Undoing, which is also cute. And then you go back to Magnolia Parks and you read The Long Way Home. I'm excited. And then, oh wait, no, sorry. You do Daisy Hates Before the Great Undoing. This is the book I was currently in the middle of, but I just soft DNF it because, I, like I said, I think I need to restart. So these are the books that I've either read or started reading. I think I was about halfway through this, but like I said, we're just going to restart. And then this book recently came out, and that is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. And I'm pretty sure this is the last Magnolia and BJ book, which is kind of crazy. But, okay, let me put this back in order. Yeah, it goes Magnolia Parts, then da Daisy Hates, then Long Way Home, The Great Undoing, and then Into the Dark. Wow. Um, and then I'm assuming she'll probably just come out with one more Daisy Hates book. I honestly, I thought I was a Daisy Hates girl, but I think I might be a Magnolia girl. And I don't know. I think The Long Way Home really is what, like, cemented that for me. And the fact that I couldn't get through The Great Undoing. But I think once I like reread this entire series, hopefully just like all of it back to back to back, um, I'll know for sure where I stand with this series. This series is definitely like a char character study, I think is what you would consider it. There's not a real plot is what, what it is, I guess. But anyway, excited to add these five books to my shelf. They are very pretty. Like this, this stack is very gorgeous. I can't wait to have the final book probably. But anyway, I'm going to add these to my shelf, and I have yoga this morning, and then I'm going to go to the gym, so I'll probably, like I said, I'm working on my thesis today, so I don't know if I'll talk to you guys that much, but I'm going to go, um, and I'll chat whenever I chat, so thanks for unboxing these with me. Hey guys! It's Saturday. This week I'm doing a reading vlog versus a week in the life. Love. How much I read in a week. Love. But I have to update because I haven't talked at all today because today is going to be another no read day. Yesterday I didn't read anything. Today I'm not reading anything because guess where we're going? Billy. Billy. See Billy tonight in Kansas City. Pretty excited. Our theme, our concert theme is Wildflower. So we're wearing kind of inspiration I think that she yeah. kind of showed. Anna gave me these pants. I don't know if you can see them. The lighting's not great. They're florally. They're like green, I think. Yeah. But they're really flowy and they look like a skirt. And then this is my hair. Anna did it. Just the braid. Aubrey curled it really well. But then she she put in the bows and everything too, so. And then, yeah, Anna's wearing a really cute crochet flower thing. Yes! Uh, Billy. I'm Billy. so excited. What's your, what song are you looking forward to the most? TV. I think that one will make me cry. You've. You had an era where you listened to that like multiple times a day. Yeah. So. That was like my end of fall and spring. I was listening to that on repeat. Yeah. That might want to be one of my top songs of the year, honestly. I would not doubt it. When does it come out, by the way? Usually the beginning of December. So okay. pretty soon. Okay. I think I'm honestly really excited to listen to Lunch because I know that's like a popular one, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I've been listening. That's like, if I'm yeah. putting on a Billy song, it's lunch. Yeah. Also, Birds of a Feather, because I was listening to it on the treadmill earlier. I can't wait to hear her do the scream note that she does. Yes. When I, not scream, but like at the end when she does it for like, because that's always one of my things where I'm like, it's always a pet peeve of mine when people do like whisper singing all the time because yeah. I want to hear your full range. Yes. Yeah. And so she hits it. It just like scratches an inch in my brain. I'm excited. I'm also really excited for Blue. I love oh, Blue yes. so much. Yes. I love that one. So I think it'll be good. I also, yeah, Birds of a Feather. Any song that has a music video, I, for some reason, automatically love it more because I always watch the music videos. Not always. Most of the time. So, like, so, Lunch has one. Chihiro. Birds of a Feather. Chihiro. All of those I'm like... Because I'm going to be picturing the music video while I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's amazing. I don't know. Anyway, we're excited. I'll definitely take some clips to add in here just because I want to keep the memory of it, but that'll be on my phone. So anyway, I'm going to eat dinner before we leave. Just wanted to update, say hey, and I will chat with you guys. I mean, you're, you're going to see clips of the concert, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So bye vlog. Bye.
morning everyone happy monday i just wanted to end off this video on what i finished reading um yesterday friday and saturday were just days that i was busy and i didn't really have time to read at all but yesterday i did start reading this book beloved for class today i'm gonna finish it i have an audiobook that i'm just gonna listen to while i'm at work today but i'm about 40 percent the way through so i think i can finish it before three but yeah i read um 124 pages so that was how many pages i read yesterday and i am done with the week that's about um an average amount i read i feel like i actually read less this week because i usually read before bed but this week i just whenever i lay down i went immediately to sleep anyway this background is kind of crazy but i am going to end this video now thank you guys so much for watching i am starting a regular week in the life um today actually after this clip so if you guys want to see that follow along and i will see you guys in the next video peace and love bye guys mm -hmm.